So today I'm here to teach you how to use your mouse to generate movement keyframes inside of the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. So recently I discovered this tool that is very helpful and I decided to share it with you because it will help you also a lot. So let's go into the computer and let me show you how easy it is. So here we are inside of the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. Let's start and let's create here a new Fusion composition. Let's give it a name, test. I'm going to go into the Fusion composition that I created. So we only have our MIDI out. I'm going to start with a, a background node. I'm going to connect the background here to the MIDI out. I'm going to come here to the background and I'm going to put the alpha to zero because I want the background to be transparent and let's add something to animate. In this case, I'm going to add here a logo, a PNG file. I'm going to connect it here to the pipeline. And after the media in, I'm going to add a transform because it's inside of the transform that we're going to animate our logo. So first thing to have to have in mind is to have here the playhead in the beginning. So we have to be in the beginning of our clip. And let me zoom this out and let's put the logo where we want it to start the animation. I'm going to put it, for example, here out of the frame. And with the transform selected, come here to the center. If you don't see here the, this, this inspector, just click it here and the inspector will open and go to the center, right click and select path here. And as soon as you select path, you will see this tool appear. Let's select the first one. There is a difference between the first one and the second one. So the first one will register each frame, the position of the mouse. And with the, the third one, this one, it will only select where you press and release the mouse and press again and release. So it will only record the press release movements of the mouse. I will show you both for you to see the difference. So first let's select this one is the um, draw append that will register every movement of the mouse. So with this, let's press with the, our mouse to start the animation and let's start. I'm going to use the space bar. So let's press space bar and let's start. Look, something like this and it's done. So you see that it's following all that we selected. And of course you can come and if you want, you can, let's zoom this in. For example, if you want to select this point and you, and you can move it and adjust it, for example, like this, do this one and come here to the handles and you can adjust everything. So this is one way. If we go to the edit page and if we put our text and play it, you will see that it is following exactly what we draw. So now let me show you the second one. So let's go again to the test. Let's select the transform. I'm going to reset this, double click in the center and everything is put to zero. Now let's, I'm going to delete the logo over here. So I'm going to delete the logo and I'm going to add, for example, a text over here. Let me connect it. So let's come here and type text. I'm going to change here a little of the font. I'm going to put it bigger. So, so let's put it like you now. Let's select the transform. Remember, it's always on the transform. And I'm going to put my text over here. And now let's put our cursor in the beginning. So the playhead is in the beginning. And let me go and do the path. And now with this one selected, I'm going to select it and I do the same. I'm going to press play and I will drag it over here. Release, press again, release, press again, and it's done. So you can see it's doing this. So now let's go to the edit page. Let's put it over here. And now if I play it, you will see the text moving. Of course, if you come here to the text, and to the transform in this one, you can also adjust here the handles like this and like this, you can adjust everything like this. So it's very easy and I hope it's helpful for you. 
So as you could see, it's very easy and it helps a lot. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until there, bye.